हेलो फ्रेंड्स हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी पॉलिट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस इन डिटेल नाउ पॉलिट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस इट इज कॉल्ड एज एन एक्चुअल प्रोसेस व्हिच इज गवर्न बाय द लॉ पी वी रेस टू एन इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट this is the governing law for polytropic process and it is a practical process or we can say that here as if we compare it with the reversible adiabatic or isentropic process there it was pv raised to gamma is equal to constant but here it is pv raised to n is equal to constant where this small n it is called as polytropic index the value of n it can be in the range of it will be more than 1 it can take a value even 1.4 which is equal to gamma that is the adiabatic index or sometimes it can even cross the value of gamma that is it can be more than 1.4 as well now after understanding this next i'll draw the pv diagram for the polytropic process Diagrams. First is for polytropic compression process. Second one is for polytropic expansion process. It means both these curves are governed by the law. P V raise to n is equal to constant. Now, if I consider the compression process, initially the volume at point one is V one, and the final volume. after compression it is v2 next initial pressure at point 1 is p1 and final pressure at point 2 is p2 so area under this curve which is 1 to 2 gives us the amount of work done in case of polytropic process during compression so this shaded area gives the amount of work done during compression process for polytropic process similarly if we have expansion in that case initially the volume is v1 and after expansion the volume at state 2 it becomes v2 so there is increase in volume during expansion and at state 1 the pressure is p1 before expansion after expansion the pressure reduces and it reaches a value of p2 so this is expansion process from p1 to p2 and from v1 to v2 where pressure drops and volume increases in case of compression process here the pressure was increasing and volume was decreasing so again area under this curve gives us the amount of work done during expansion process now after understanding the compression and expansion process in case of polytropic process next step would be to derive a relation that is i'll write the relation between pressure volume and temperature
for polytropic process deriving the relation now for this relation i'll say that first of all since the characteristic gas equation it is given by pv is equal to mrt therefore p and here we have v divided by m is equal to rt so therefore volume upon mass is called a specific volume and that is equal to rt i'll keep this as equation 1 next from this equation i can say that p is equal to rt divided by v equation second also equation 3 next after reaching at this stage you can say that since the governing law for polytropic process is given by pv raised to n is equal to constant now here in this case in this governing law i'll first put the value of pressure pressure is rt upon v that is from equation 2 so therefore rt upon v into v raised to n is equal to constant i'll say that this is from equation second next i'll keep t as it is this v here we have v raised to n and this v is raised to power 1 if i bring it into the numerator that is v raised to minus 1 is equal to c upon r i'll shift r onto the other side now r is called as characteristic gas constant this is again a constant so therefore t into this will be v raised to n minus 1 and it is equal to c upon r which i can say that it is another constant c dash next i can use this equation that is therefore i can say that for state 1 i can write down t1 into v1 raised to n minus 1 is equal to for state 2 also that will be t2 into v2 raised to n minus 1 next i'll bring t2 by t1 so therefore t2 upon t1 will be equal to here we have from the equation t2 upon t1 will be v1 by v2 raised to n minus 1 that is v1 raised to n minus 1 upon v2 raised to n minus 1 so therefore t2 upon t1 is equal to v1 upon v2 raised to power n minus 1 which is common and here i'll be keeping this as equation 4 now after reaching here again as we have the governing law which is pv raised to n is equal to constant now here i have written the governing law for polytropic process and now i'll keep p as it is instead of v v is equal to rt upon p that is from equation 3 so rt upon p raised to n is equal to c and that is 
from equation 3 now therefore here we have I'll write it in a special way that is t raised to n first I'll write it t raised to n then here in the denominator we have p raised to n next this pressure p is raised to power 1 if I send it into the denominator it will become p raised to minus 1 and is equal to c here p raised to 1 which is nothing but p and here I have r so r will be shifted on the right hand side so I have simplified this in such a way that first t raised to n as it is next there is p raised to n in the denominator p raised to 1 is there in the numerator if I send it into the denominator that becomes p raised to minus 1 and r will be shifted on right hand side so we have c upon r next therefore t raised to n will remain as it is and in the denominator we have p raised to n minus 1 is equal to c upon r that I will call it as another constant which is c dash next therefore this t I will keep it as it is p raised to n minus 1 this n will be shifted in the denominator so it will be n minus 1 upon n is equal to c dash so therefore I can say that for state 1 I can write down t1 upon p1 raised to n minus 1 upon n is equal to t2 upon p2 raised to n minus 1 upon n so therefore the relation becomes t2 I will keep it on one side t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 and common I can write down raised to power n minus 1 upon n equations 4 and 5 we have t2 upon t1 is equal to in equation 4 it was v1 by v2 raised to n minus 1 so it is equal to v1 upon v2 raised to n minus 1 is equal to in equation fifth t2 by t1 was p2 by p1 raised to n minus 1 by n so it is equal to p2 by p1 raised to n minus 1 upon n So equation capital A therefore equation A gives the relation between pressure volume and temperature between two states for a polytropic process so here we have an equation in which there is a relation between temperature volume and pressure for a polytropic process and now after deriving this relation next is I'll derive the work done formula for a polytropic process that is an equation which will give us the idea that how much is the amount of work done in a polytropic process work done during polytropic process it is given by first of all we can write down work done as a general equation which is integral of PDV 
and that is from limits p1 v1 to v2 next i can say that keeping this as equation first now since the governing law is pv raised to n is equal to constant so therefore p will be equal to c upon v raised to n i'll put this value put p in equation 1 so we have work done will be equal to integral of c upon v raised to n that is the value of p into dv and that is from v1 to v2 next therefore work done will be equal to c i can take as a constant since it is constant can be taken out of the integral sign integration of dv upon v raised to n from v1 to v2 and this will be c integration of v raised to n when i bring it into the numerator that is v raised to minus n dv from v1 to v2 so therefore work done will be equal to c into now v raised to minus n plus 1 that is the integration of this term upon minus n plus 1 from v1 to v2 so therefore work done will be equal to c into v2 that is higher limit minus n plus 1 minus lower limit which is v1 minus n plus 1 now in the denominator i am having minus n plus 1 i want this formula in the form of v1 minus v2 so i'll take negative common from the numerator so i have to take negative common from the denominator as well so this equation will become work done is equal to c now v1 will come first so v1 raised to minus n plus 1 minus v2 is the second term raised to minus n plus 1 divide this by n minus 1 previously it was minus n plus 1 so when i take negative common it becomes n minus 1 now i'll say that this c is nothing but if i want to write it for v1 first i'll write it as pv raised to n you can say that pv raised to n is equal to constant which is the governing equation for polytropic process next if i want to write for v1 so this will become p1 v1 raised to n into this term i'm multiplying it inside the bracket then minus for v2 it will become p2 v2 for this state it raised to power n into v2 raised to minus n plus 1 divided by n minus 1 and this will be p1 v1 raised to n into v1 raised to minus n plus 1 so that becomes v1 raised to n minus n plus 1 so plus n minus n will get cancelled and we have only v1 similarly here there will be v2 raised to n minus n plus 1 plus n minus n gets cancelled so we have v2 so p2 v2 upon n minus 1 this is the formula of work done now after getting the work done in the form of p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon n minus 1 it can also be written as first of all i'll mark this i'll call it as equation second next gas equation it is given by pv is equal to mrt so here instead of p1 v1 i can write down mrt1 instead of p2 v2 mrt2 so work done will become therefore work done will be equal to mr t1 
minus m r t two divided by n minus one. So hence work done is also equal to m r I can take common into t one minus t two upon n minus one. So this is the total amount of work done during the polytropic process. Equation three. Now, this total amount of work done can be in terms of joule or kilojoule, because here we are multiplying it with mass. Suppose the mass is one, one kg, then work done will be in terms of kilojoule per kg or joule per kg. So I can say that from equation two and three, from equation two and three, work done. During polytropic process can be calculated. Next, after getting the work done, I'll write down that change in internal energy. It is given by delta U is equal to m C V T two minus T one that is final temperature minus initial temperature. Next, this value will be since it is multiplied with mass, so the unit can be joule or it can be in terms of kilojoule. But if Mass is equal to one kg. Therefore, change in internal energy will become C V into T two minus T one. And now the unit will be either in terms of joule per kg or kilojoule per kg. Next, after getting the change in internal energy, I'll write down heat transfer. heat transfer during polytropic process now heat transfer is given by the general formula which is work done plus change in internal energy now the amount of work done i use this which is there in equation number 3 which contains the temperature difference because here i am going to equate it with the internal energy so therefore heat transfer will become q is equal to mr t1 minus t2 divided by n minus 1 plus Internal energy is m c v t two minus t one. Next, here I'll say that refer equation for work done. It is three, so refer equation three. Next, after reaching here, I can say that therefore. Taking mass as one kg, let mass m is equal to one kg. So the formula will become Q is equal to R T one minus T two divided by n minus one. Next plus C V. And here, what I'll do is I'll take negative common because here there is T one minus T two. And in this bracket, it is T two minus T one. So I want to write it in the form of T one minus T two. So negative will be taken common, and then there is C V into T one minus T two. Then I can use the relation. I'll explain it here. Since C P minus C V is equal to R, and also C P upon C V. 
is equal to gamma so therefore i can say that cp will be equal to gamma into cv gamma cv if i shift here instead of cp so gamma cv minus cv is equal to r cv can be taken common so gamma minus 1 is equal to r where gamma is called as the adiabatic index so finally cv will be equal to r upon gamma minus 1 this relation i'll use here so therefore q will be equal to r into t1 minus t2 upon n minus 1 minus in place of cv r upon gamma minus 1 into bracket t1 minus t2 next year therefore q will be equal to i'll take r into t1 minus t2 common so inside the bracket i have 1 upon n minus 1 minus 1 upon gamma minus 1 so simplifying this bracket q is equal to r into t1 minus t2 inside the bracket this gamma minus 1 will be multiplied here so gamma minus 1 minus n minus 1 if i multiply here here there is negative sign so n will become minus n and 1 which is negative will become positive so minus n plus 1 upon n minus 1 into gamma minus 1 so here therefore q will be equal to r into t1 minus t2 inside this bracket minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled out so here we have gamma minus n next i'll keep gamma minus 1 inside here and n minus 1 i'll shift it here now somewhere we had written that mr t1 minus t2 upon n minus 1 is called as work done during the polytropic process if i put mass is equal to 1 kg so this will be r into t1 minus t2 upon n minus 1 which is the same term which i am getting here so therefore heat transfer will be equal to i'll write it in this way work done into gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1 so therefore the heat transfer during the polytropic process will be equal to i'll write it in this way gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1 into work done during the polytropic process and this gamma value gamma will be greater than n and gamma has a value of around 1.4 so n value will be less than 1.4 and this complete equation gives the heat transfer during the polytropic process and suppose n value is greater than 1 in that case the heat transfer which we will get that will be negative it means heat will be rejected out of the system if this answer is positive it means heat it, heat is added into the system so in this video we have seen a polytropic process in detail along with all the relations of pressure volume and temperature work done change in internal energy and finally the heat transfer as compared with reversible adiabatic process their heat transfer is zero but here we will be having a value of heat transfer and this is the actual process